Hey everybody, what's going on today? Sunday afternoon. One o'clock or so, I think. One or two, I can't remember. But it got 75 degrees or 77 degrees real quick. So it's kind of humid out here. Yeah. The reason I've been feeling like crap today is I noticed my pulse rate is like, it goes down like 45, 44, then it jumps like to 80. And it makes you real dizzy when it does that. It makes you like, whoa, you know what I mean? Like, whoa. That's what it's doing. It's been doing it all day. You know, I was out here doing some weed eating and raking. And let's see. Yeah, 59. And from 59 to 89. Something like that. You know, it's bouncing around like that. It gets low, then goes boom. You know what I mean? Then it jumps from 80, from 40 to 80, from 80 to 120. And then you get real dizzy. You know what I mean? I mean, I had a high pulse rate laying down, so it was doing that too. So I took a beta blocker and it went down. It took about an hour for it to go down, but you feel real nauseated, like you're going to puke when it gets when you get real dizzy like that or can't stand up there long. It's like, it's like, boop, boop, boop. You know, I was like, what the hell? Again, I called the cardiologist on call, cardiologist on call yesterday and today. Nobody returned my phone calls. Nobody. I guess they're tired of hearing from me because they'll just say, go to the hospital. Then I'll say, you know what's going to happen, don't you? When I go to the hospital, they're going to blow me off. <laughs> they're going to say it's anxiety because <laughs> they got it. They got it set up in their, in their system over there. I'm telling you, it's a waste of time. Okay. It's a waste of time. If you take an ambulance over there, it's like the bill's like $850 or $900 or something like that. And they don't, you know, no lights and siren when they have an episode. They say, you're not, you're not dying. You're just having anxiety, anxiety issues. We're not going to turn the lights and sirens on. So they drive me there normal. Then the cardiologist gets all pissed off and says, hey, I want to catch from that date on the, on the record. I said, you didn't catch no date because they said I wasn't dying. They weren't going to turn the lights and sirens on because it wasn't COVID-19 related. They're not going to turn their sirens on. So, you know, it's kind of stupid. Y'all know it's crazy, but yeah, it's how it is, I guess. I mean, people are crazy. You know, I just deal with it. There's nothing I can do about it. Just deal with it. Y'all say go to the hospital, but these hospitals around here are tired of seeing me. You know, I mean, they blow me off as anxiety and they won't treat it. They won't treat it. Because uh, them doctors in the hospital, they're not a cardiologist. And when they see something like that, like heart issues, that all, is, all they can do is that they're say it's anxiety causing your heart problems. That's all they can do because they don't know. You know what I mean? They don't know. They look at EKG, say it's normal, and my cardiologist looks at it a week later and said it's not normal. So they came and read an EKG. Hell, they came and read blood work. They took my blood work over like a dozen times over the past six months, and they said everything's fine. But when my cardiologist and doctor looked at it, they said, no, it's not fine. Your sugar's kind of high. Your potassium levels, levels this. Your blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? It's like they don't know. I mean, they just blow, blow you off like... Everything looks fine. Everything looks fine. It's this anxiety. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? I know, but... Yeah. So, it's Wednesday afternoon. So, I'm going to hop off here. So, I'm going to get the rest of this yard work done if I can. I don't lay down. I took a... Took me a little nap for 20 minutes. I mean, that's all. But I try to stay active, you know, because when I lay down, it seems like the symptoms get worse. You know what I mean? The pulse eventually goes down, but when I'm up moving around... It gets real tacky and jumping around, you know, like I told you, from like 80 to 120 and stuff like that. And sometimes it gets worse than that. Sometimes that blood pressure gets up. You know, blood pressure today was the highest I got was 158 over 133. You know what I mean? But if it gets worse, I take another blood pressure medicine anyway, because I'm only on 10 milligrams. I took it by 8.30 or 9 o'clock this morning. I'll take another one. It's only a low dose, but, you know, even in beta blockers and... In the ACE inhibitors, they have a dizziness side effects, constipation, dizziness, faintnesses. You know, the beta blockers are nasty side effects. You know what I mean? My friend yesterday asked me, like, how does it feel when you have one of them episodes? I said, take a hammer and pound it on your chest. In the middle of your chest, that's what it feels like. Well, how they resolve that? I said, they resolve with a pill. <laughs> He's like, pills solve it all? I said, yep, yeah, pills solve it all. Pills solve everything. But yeah, I'm going back in the house because I'm getting dizzy. But thank you guys for the support, and I appreciate it very much. So, okay, you guys have a good weekend. It's Sunday, May 16th, 2021. It's Monday, or Sunday. Weekend's flying by. It feels good out here. It's kind of warm, kind of muggy. But yeah, okay. 
You guys have a great Sunday. Thank you much for thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Okay? Thank you so much. I appreciate it very much, everybody. Thank you.